don't talk about this LeBron Draymond, I mean the LeBron uh, KD thing because there's different players on their team. And when you have a player like this guy, he can do so many things. He just stays in the play. He's only averaging 9.7 points, but it really doesn't matter. When you, Whenever he's on the floor, he's a guy that you have to respect. Even if he's at the three-point line, whether he has it or not, we know what he can do defensively. But right here is what I like. They make you honor them defensively, getting easy buckets late in the game. Now, you know he necessarily is not going to post up or score on LeBron right there, but you have to honor him as if he's one of the best shooters because he can get that ball out, pass it, and get other guys involved. Now, right here, just stay in vertical. He's not a shot blocker, but just stay in vertical. He in LeBron's vision. Probably not the reason why LeBron missed the shot, but you love the fact that Draymond is always in great defensive position. And again, for players out there, young players, you can be impactful by rebounding, passing the ball, getting other players involved. But whenever you have this KD-LeBron argument, just remember to add guys like Who's that. Who's having an argument? Uh, uh, just, just the whole country, every barbershop. No. But whenever you have that, I just think it's, it's cool to put the whole context together. Because you have a guy like uh, Draymond, it's just, just so tough to stop and to say, I'm going to stop and focus on one guy. Chuck, you know? why, why are you laughing at us? <laughs> this time. I love when, I love when they put those plus minus of things out there. I bet if you put him out there with JaVale McGee and David West, <laughs> McCall, and those guys, he would be yeah, like sure. plus 14. <laughs> when you're out there with Clay, Steph, and Kevin Durant, point, that's yeah. the, all that stuff yeah. just makes me like, that's all that analytical stuff. I mean, come on, man. Be serious. So he'd be different if he was on Philly Listen, with that, that team? That guy's a good player. <laughs> yeah, I like Draymond's personality a lot. You put him on Philly, he wouldn't be plus 14. No, I that's agree true. with you, that's Chuck. True. And Matt, you know, I play with a guy like Draymond. His name was Rick Fox. Didn't have a lot of responsibility. Hit the open shot. Wear your emotion on your sleeve. Play defense. And guard our number one guy, whether it's a big guy or a small guy. And that's what Draymond, you know, Listen, go say a lot of... A lot of guys on Golden State got it real easy because they're out there. You know, they have four guys that you got to pay attention to on the court at one time and two guys that you have to double coming on the screen. So it's a lot of space for these guys to operate. So, you know, his job is not that hard. Josh, I bet you was a plus. Yeah, I bet yeah, you yeah, was a plus. Yeah, 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 you know, but, but none of them as good looking as Rick Fox. No, nobody's pretty as Rick Fox. <laughs> let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. The way it works for Turner is Rick's number one, see Webb's number two. I'm number three. You're number three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's only because Shaq, yeah, Kenny, and Ernie are ugly. <laughs> hey, that's only because Shaq, Kenny, and Ernie are ugly. Shots fired. Shots. And, and Matt, you below me, too. <laughs> wow. Because you have to be a certain height to be good looking. That, really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That you you right. You, you, well, you barely taller than Casey. <laughs> I, mean, <so. laughs> I didn't realize that.